I don't know exactly how that happened, but Coach Life, Tester, number, no, it's got to be the, the real one. I'm in the process of moving from my winter rental and bringing a bunch of my things to, I'm um, streamlining, streamlining my entire life, streamlining. So five or six rooms, gonna have to become one room. So I'm gonna give away a lot of stuff, try to sell what I can and get rid of the rest of it. I'm about to, my whole life is about to be in two black bags. So I wanted to make a coach life so that you could see some of the in-between stuff, not just the chilling in the car, relaxed. Like this is real live present moment. I'm moving a lot going on at school. So, I mean, I feel like in terms of the perception of life, it's like I should have a GoPro on my forehead, but I'm very grateful and I'm actually excited. Like this is one of the first times that I was able to be present enough not to be panicking and to decide that it's important enough to make a video as well. So I guess it's a new level of expression for me. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to sharing the house updates because, you know, I didn't have budget to do some, you know, people just drop 40, 50 grand on a house and then it looks brand new, but it looks lifeless type of thing. I really had to unlearn a lot about my ideas of design um, thanks to my limited budget, um, thanks to actually observing aesthetic. Because for a long time, I thought I had an uh, aesthetic and it was just really um, this minimal, fresh, spacious, ambiance like I was on another planet you know I didn't really engage with the human experience in my and I still am pretty lofty with it but my point is I learned some valuable lessons this year in terms of how a home should look like the the character um character should show and so it, it took me about a year to learn that and I'm happy. I never wanted to be a landlord. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. But having a mortgage is a lot of real life to deal with. There's a lot of consistent things that you need to address. Having a home, having a house. So now I'm at the point where I'm really happy to share it with people in the, in the energy that w went into the house. Like Bear Paw built his house from scratch. He slept in a tent with Bobby, his wife. He was a white man bought a single lot for him and he hustled it up, slept in a tent with his wife, built the house. I can remember being a young adult and being embarrassed about the house that he built because it was so small. It was like a square with a X through it and those were bedrooms and the kitchen, it was, it was he really made a lot with a little. And I remember being embarrassed about that. And about shortly thereafter, I became embarrassed that I was embarrassed. Like I cared about other people's, I had a bunch of rich friends and stuff like that. So they was all out with Range Rovers, Navigators and stuff like that, Jeeps. And you know what I mean? I'm like walking home, like drop me at the end of the street type of, but uh, so, Shortly after being embarrassed, I was embarrassed that I was embarrassed because Bear Paw did his thing. That like, you should be proud of people who, who who built things like from nothing, you know? So I learned my lesson and then to see what Nana did it when she transitioned Bear Paw out and then Nana transitioning out, uh, just the whole thing. I mean, obviously it's, a, it's not a light. Oh, the camera, that's crazy. Oh man, all right, so I thought I had it clicking in here. The first recording didn't record and now the light wasn't working. I don't know when it went out, so maybe it'll be a cool demo. It'll mean something, but um, that's for hindsight. I'm in the present, I don't know. I could sit here and think about it, but. <laughs> so that's where I'm at, real time coach life.